All right, this is the PDF 417 barcode, and I'm going to show you how to decode it by hand using only a calculator and a gigantic lookup table, which I'll provide for you. So anyways, let's first look at what the PDF 417 barcode is. The PDF 417 barcode, you wouldn't see this guy in many places, but you do see him around. Uh, so where is the PDF 417 used? It's used uh, on parcel postage in a few few places. It is used on an airplane ticket. If you pull out your wallet right now and take out your driver's license and flip it over, there's a PDF 417 right there containing all the data on the front of it. So let's look at what the PDF 417 is and what it's uh, comprised of. This top section here is a PDF barcode that I got a picture of and the portion beneath it here is just me taking all the cells and coloring them in in Excel, making them easier to handle. So looking at the first and last section here, these are the beginning and end regions of the barcode. And they are always fixed and that is they are always a fixed pattern and don't contain any real data. Okay, you would use those in your, I guess, camera program to find the barcode. Now the next section, which is this left section here, is simply called the left section. And this over here is the right section. And they are the areas uh, of the barcode that don't really contain the data of the barcode, but, but contain information about the barcode. For instance, like what row this is, what uh, error correction uh, level this is, how many rows are in the barcode, and a row would be top to bottom, this number here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then the right section kind of mirrors that in a different order, so that's why this guy's different than that guy. And so finally, we got our data section right here. There we go. Easy to do. Now, each one of these is, each one of these areas here is a data word. So this is a data word this is a data word and this is a data word and each one of these data words is read in a left to right top to bottom order so one two three four five six seven eight nine all the way till the end okay so that's pretty simple so let's move on and show you how to decode this guy all right so here's a barcode that I generated using uh, this online PDF 417 barcode generator thing on barcode.com. So that's cool. So I got this barcode here, and I have put into Excel black and black and white these sections here of my data. So this does not include the beginning, the end, the left, nor the right areas. This is only the three data word sections in between. Now, you don't have to have only three data word sections. You can have just one or a ton. I don't really know what that number is. If you really care, you can look it up. <laughs> but moving along, each one of these data word uh, columns here always begins with black and always ends in white. So they're pretty distinctively, you can see where they begin and end. So now, looking at each one of these data words, you can see that they are 17 cells long. Oh snap, 17? That's where the PDF for 17 comes from. <laughs> wow! So anyways, where does the 4 come from? Well, I'll show you here. This data word has 1, 2, 3, 4 black sections. Oh, there we go. And 1, 2, 3, 4 white sections. That's what that comes from. The 4 comes from. So we have in each one of these data words, one, two, three, four black sections, black sections, and one, two, three, four white sections. Neat, and that's true for all of these. One, two, three, four black, and one, two, three, four white sections. Now, these sections are considered one data word, and one data word is a value uh, that is equivalent to um, a value of zero to 929. And I'll get to that in a second, what that value means. First, we've got to determine how to get that value. So, to get that value, we look at the sequence of black and white. Now, if we take this black section here, this black section is 
two sections long, so I'm going to put a two here. This white section is one section long, so one. This black is one long. This white is one long. This black is one long. This white section here is five sections long. This black section is two sections long. This white section is four sections long. That end white is included in the length, and so is the beginning black is included in the length as well. Okay, so now I have this sequence of black and white lengths uh, two, one, 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 five, two, four. All right, so cool. I got the sec the sequence. Now, I want to get this into a value for this data word. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to show you this web page. Okay, this web page is a gigantic web page, uh, full of sequences that mean a value. So, what we can do now is hit Control F and then hit Control V and then take off the square that I don't know why Excel adds it but there we are and so now it's it found this value the sequence here and it means 10 sweet so the value of this data word here is 10 easy enough so now what do these values mean well a value from 0 to 899 are your data I want to say they're like Think of if you think of these as data words, then you can think of um, what these data words turn into as two chunks. But there's exceptions to the rules. Of course, these values that you'll see here go all the way up from zero to nine hundred and twenty-nine. Well, I sorry, nine hundred twenty-eight because zero is included. So. If the value goes over 900, you're into the kind of defining barcode area, which is 900 to 928. So if you get a value of 900, that means you're in the text encoding. If you get a value of 901, that means you're doing byte encoding. If you're in 902, you're doing numeric encoding. Now, there's a few more after that, but they're really not terribly important. You're rarely ever going to see them. Normally, these PDF-417 barcodes are meant solely for text, and their default value, if you never see a 900 or above, their default encoding is text. All right, so that's the one exception, is that 900 and above. Uh, the other exception is the first data word. The first data word does not really contain any value of uh, our data that we're actually looking for, but it is the length of data words that are going to be used. So everything after this is going to be actually encoded data. So 10, which includes the data word that says 10 itself, is 1. Then the next one over is 2. Next one over is 3. Then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the last data word here, 10. Okay, so now we're working with these 10 data words, including the first data word itself. I told us we're working with just 10. All right, so it's cool. Moving on, let's decode the second data word, which is this guy here. And so the first sequence here is this black section that's only one long. Okay, the next one is four whites long. The next one is two blacks long. The next one is three whites, two blacks, two whites, one black, and two whites. Okay, cool. So let's copy Control F, Control V, take off that square. 900. Oh, cool. So we're doing text encoding. So that's pretty nice. So I'll put a 900 there to denote that this stupid sequence means 900. All right, cool. So now we're doing text encoding, which isn't entirely necessary to have in there, but it can be used as kind of padding, if you will, or if the encoder wants to make sure that you're in text encoding, it's going to throw the 900 in there anyways. All right, so the next portion we should see here should be the beginning of our text. Cool. So let's do the sequence. We got one black, two white, two black, three white, two black, five white, one black, one white. All right, cool. So there's our sequence. So now let's go back to this page here. By the way, this address, you can see it there, but I'm going to put that link in the comments as well anyways. So go to my find section here, control V, 
take off the dumb square. 537. Great, now we're getting somewhere. So 537, this is actual data, and we're going to take this data here and make, uh, instead of data words, let's make some data chunks out of it. So to figure out what our data chunks are, which is going to be two letters or two chunks, I don't know how to explain this. What is the math equation that makes 537? Well, the math equation is equal to the first character times 30 plus the second character. And that's our math equation right there to figure out what these two chunks are. So 537 is equal to the first character times 30 plus the second character. So to get that backwards, uh, the second character is pretty easy to figure out if you use a mod command. Now if you don't know what mod is, I already tried to explain this and I totally messed it up and ended up having to redo this video because I just really can't explain what mod is. You should go look it up. It's a great function. It's also used I think in like either the QR code or the data, work, data matrix thing where they compress it. I think it's the data matrix. I'm not sure. Well anyways, so our number uh, mod of 30 gives us our second number. Okay, cool. So our first character is then the number minus the second character which we figured out divided by 30. Okay, so that's cool. So let's do this all out mathematically. So 537 I actually want to do a mod of 537. And I'm not, I'm putting apostrophes uh, in front of this so Excel doesn't actually try to do the math because if Excel does the math then you really don't learn how this thing works. So you can bust out your Windows calculator and do a 537 mod 30 and that gives you 27. So awesome! Our second character is uh, apostrophe s. Oh, oh, I took it anyways. Okay, so our second character is 27. So now our first character is going to be, let's clear this, 537 minus 27 is 510 divided by 30 equals 17. So awesome. We have two of our first characters right here. So, 17, 27, what does that even mean? Well, let me show you. I have another handy paste bin to show you what these things mean. Oh, cool, you're so prepared. Yeah, I know. It's excellent. All right, so our first character is 17. So we have these four. Now, here's our number. Here's our, our number column right there of what each of these things mean. But then we have these four areas that it could be in. We have an alpha section, a lower section, a mixed section, and a punctuation section. By default, the PDF 417 starts in text encryption, encoding, whatever, and it starts in the alpha section. So, our first character, 17, is R, capital R at that. Okay, so our first thing is R. Excellent. So now... Our second character is 27. Let's go back to our handy lookup table here. Of course, I'll have this link in the description as well. 27 of the alpha column is LL. LL, that's not a character. That's right. It is a shifting, or not really a shifting, but a latch. There is latching and shifting to different sections of these columns. So you can shift to or latch to a different section. So LL is a latch to lower. So we're going to now shift everything after here is going to be in the lower section since we've latched to that. So I'm just going to put a LL in, in parentheses there to kind of show that we've shifted over to lowercase. All right, so that's our first character. Awesome. Let's continue on doing this because, you know, we're getting somewhere. So let's do this. One black, one white two blacks, three whites, five blacks, one white, one black, three whites. Great, so that is for sequence for this guy right here. Copy. Go back to my look up here. 
pasta, remove the square, 421. All right, cool. So 421 for this guy, 421. And let's see, 421 mod of 30 is 1. Okay, so that's cool. That is our second character. So 1 in here, since we're latched to lower, is B. So that's our second character. B. So our first character is going to be now 421 minus the 1 from the second character is 420 divided by 30 is 14. So 14, looking up here, we're still in a lowercase, is going to be O. So now we got a lowercase O. All right, sweet. So continuing on, and I don't know if you're kind of getting this already. This is pretty much it. The rest is just going to be me continuing to show you how this is going to work and the final product. Okay, so this sequence here is 4, 1, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2. No, I missed a 1, 1, 2. Okay, cool. So grab that, go to here, go to my lookup, control F, pasta that into there, 4, 3, 2. Okay, so this value, this code word is 4, 3, 2. And so we got 432, and we're going to take, in this in Excel now, we're going to do a mod of 432, comma 30, because that's what we're modding it by, 12. Okay, cool, so we got 12. So that is our second character. Now, to get our first character, we want, let's move this guy over. To get our first character, we want to do the 432 divided by, and I covered the cell. That's fantastic. Let's just move this guy over. <laughs> Fancy. Okay. Divided by 30. Okay. So essentially that is BV22, which is this guy, divided... Shoot. I messed all that up. Okay. Let's shift this guy over so I can redo this. Oh, it still covers it. That's That figures. Okay, let's do this again over. Okay, so this guy minus this guy. That's what I was going to do. Of course, I meant to do that. Divide by 30, 14. So now we have 12 and 14. All okay, right, so let's start with 14. 14. Wait, didn't I already see 14? I did already see 14 because 14 is O again. Cool. So my first character is O. Sweet. My second character is 12. So going back to my lookup here, 12 is M. So my second character is M. Awesome. So do the next data word over. So we got three blacks, one white, one black, one white, two blacks, three whites, one black, and five whites. Copy. Pasta. 19. Okay, that's a, kind of a shorter number. So 19, I was going to then get the second character first because it's easiest to get by just doing a mod of that. Oh, nuts. Doing a mod of that by 30. There we go. It is 19 because it doesn't really go over 30, so there's nothing to mod it. So 19 just is the second character. So simply then, we're going to do a this guy minus this guy, which of course is 0, divided by 30, which is going to be 0. So 0. So my first character is 0, and on the lookup table, that is uh, A, since we're still in the lower column here. So 0 is A. That's easy enough. 19 for my second character, that's going to be a T. Hope you're getting this now. Hope I'm explaining this well enough to you. I hope you're going to see what's happening here. And uh, so we're on to what our seventh guy here. A few more to go. One, two, one. Yeah, three, one, four, four, one. Okay. Copy. Uh, pasta, which is 242. 242. 
course. So 242, and I can just simply kind of copy these equations downwards to here. First character is going to be 8. Looking up 8 is going to be I. Uh, okay, there we are. And 2 is going to be C. Great. C. And then this guy is going to be 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 6. 6 is the maximum length, by the way. And 1, 1. Okay. Maximum length of a black or white section. So copy pasta, and that's 5, 6, 9 to my lookup table. Uh, 5, 6, 9. So... Okay, 569, copy these, paste them there, 18 and 29, looking at this we have 18 is an S, uh, S, and then 29, which is a, oops, 29, which is from the lower column, it is a punctuation shift, that means for the next character only, it's going to be punctuation. Oh wait, sorry, it doesn't go there, it goes up here. So now this guy, two, three, five, two, one, two, one, one, okay? This guy equals, look at the big lookup table here, it equals 900. So it's saying we're in latch mode, okay, or sorry, not latch mode, it means we're in text mode, great. So it's not really going into our data section because it is 900 or above. This is just simply saying you're in text mode. Great, we already know that. So essentially what this is doing, it's creating the padding cells at the back. Since we've already kind of figured out what the barcode is, now it's just going to kind of fill it up with garbage of 900s. So 1, 4, 2, uh, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2. You can probably guess what this guy is going to be. Pasta that into there. Also 900. Okay. So, oh, I'm hitting the brown buttons. This is 900. Okay, so again, 900. And the rest of these, since we only have 10 data words here, the rest of these are going to be error corrections. So, therefore, we have finished our. No, oh, don't look at that. We have finished our barcode here. So, essentially, now we have R capital R, then we latch to lower, then O, B, O, M, A, T, I, C, S, and then the punctuation shift, which doesn't really include Robomatics! Oh, we figured it out! The barcode means Robomatics. Of course, you probably would have probably seen that coming since that's how my other barcode videos go anyways. So, uh, just a little bit of extra information wise, there are three columns here. It's because if you, this is kind of works with the error correction of the PDF 417. It's really kind of smart how they did this. But um, if you take these numbers, uh, really the, the black sections here, and say this is um, 2, the black section, minus 1, plus the next black section, 1, minus the next black section, 2, it's going to go up to zero. Um, then you plus nine, and then mod nine to that. Kind of odd how that goes, but it equals zero. So essentially, that means you are in the zero column. Zero column is the first column, three column is this next column, and six column is this column. So since we got a zero, then I know that my value is going to be in the first column. And that's just kind of how an extra PDF 417 encryption goes to make sure that everything's happy when it gets out. But we don't care about that since we're only doing it by hand. But that's extra information for you. And that is how to solve the PDF 417 barcode by hand using a calculator in a giant lookup table. Have fun with that.